let's talk about some of the liquidity providing that we have on Paul's chain right now and the insane rewards that people are getting with incentive token. And I'll lead off really with just um, next day from last week. So February the 29th, RH said, have you considered these APR? And he has a screenshot of all of the farms that you can participate in on Pulse X. Um, he said to uh, app.pulsex.com to run the app yourself or uh, if you don't want to be lazy, if you're lazy, use the IPFS link. And uh, he basically just screenshot all the farms. Now, that was back when the Pulse X Pulse farm was only at 12% APR. Last I looked, it's at like 17, 18 now. Uh, yeah. And Inc. has, I believe, also continued to go up since that time. So <clears throat> Richard... And I, this is when I was DMing you um, that day, Ewok, but he was tweeting about these farms and highlighting ink a lot. He's been tagging ink more. And I just started to get this inkling, if you will, <laughs> um, that it would be a good idea to up uh, liquidity providing positions. So I, you know, hadn't delved into it stupidly, I feel, um, you know, for a lot of this previous bear market and just upped what I was LPing just with that Pulse Pulse X pool, which is really mostly what we're going to talk about. But, um, you know, we had a pool question tonight, like, are you guys LPing right now? And the majority are saying no, 52% are not doing it, 38% are, and 10% are say, what is liquidity providing? Because, you know, don't be scared to answer that. I think some people don't totally understand how it works. They're afraid of impermanent loss because we hear about it a lot and the disasters that can happen if you're doing it with like a stable coin and a, a token like Pulse or whatever it, it is you're interested in holding. Um, but yeah, I mean, to me, now that I've, you know, gone harder into it, I mean, I, I, if I had a decent sized bag, I would definitely want to be getting these ink gains right now, um, from liquidity providing. Yeah. Um, obviously it looks even better now because the ink price has gone up first to do a 10 X in the ecosystem. But, uh, like I said, that tweet from RH just seemed to indicate that more may be coming here, um, with ink. So I know you've been liquidity providing for months and months now you walk, maybe the whole time the ecosystem has been around, but yeah. What do you make of the tweet from him kind of promoting it and what we're seeing with the, the options for LPing, what you're interested in LPing and everything going on with the incentive token right now? Well, first I want to address Liberty or death's, uh, yeah. statement here. He says, I was li liquidity providing for INC until it started pumping and I was losing chunks. So I pulled it. Um, mm -hmm. I believe that means he was providing liquidity for the INC pair, probably INC Pulse or INC Pulse X. Um, I, I think yeah. there's those two. Um, I With those, you're <clears throat> gonna probably experience some impermanent loss uh, with any token you're gonna experience it probably uh, the one that I feel safest with is the PLSX pulse pair um, because I really don't care which one I end up with more of uh, because the ratio is pretty firm uh, you right. know we all know it's right around three to one it's gonna be like 2.75 or whatever it is. Uh, to one, and it doesn't change a whole lot. Uh, so I, I think by doing that and in, earning the incentive token that way, um, it, it's a little bit safer. So yeah, like you said, you are going to have impermanent loss if you're doing a stable coin. Um, I mean, right here's the rates. We've got mm -hmm. um, the, the PLSX. Now, the rate is probably the worst one uh, because it's the less risk. Uh, I think, and and that's why, and these are all on version one, too. You have to be on V1 of the pools, but, um, you know, you've got the Pulse X Pulse pair. It's earning 17.3. Um, Die Pulse is 130%. Now, again, this is one of those situations where it is very high APR, um, and you're going to have to pivot back in to get some of your PLS back as the price goes up, because what will happen is you'll end up with a lot less pulse and a lot more die. Um, as, as it, as it goes up, it evens out and you end up with less in your bucket. Um, same with all these other USDC, um, and, uh, USDT pairs, you know, they are, again, they're over a hundred and well, 125% for the three stable coin pairs. But again, it, 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 there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of maintenance to do. 
um, by rebalancing your rewards and getting some of your pulse back that you're going to lose as the price goes up. And as you can see, a lot of these will refresh um, constantly. So depending on who's adding liquidity and what's going on, um, in fact, they all just disappeared. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, wow. Let's, they're, they're, let's, they're probably just being updated. Yeah, they were updating and didn't catch up. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, so that is the the one thing that I'm more of a kind of, I, I hate to say set it and forget it, because you definitely want to keep an eye on it. Right. Um, but there isn't a whole lot of maintenance you have to do. Again, I don't really care if I end up with a little bit more Pulse X uh, than Pulse, you know, or vice versa, because it, it, it always does balance back out as that ratio comes back in. Um, just remember what you put in and how much, and that way you can keep an eye on it. Um, but, but yeah, I've been doing it a while. I was doing it on the test net. That's why I felt a lot more comfortable mm -hmm. uh, whenever this went live to, to do it on the, on the main net. And I saw some of the, you know, some of the benefits from it then. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So he did say uh, he was providing right. for the ink. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so you really have to just keep checking in, uh, use your, and then you end up using the incentive token to buy more incentive token. Right. So it, it, it's kind of, it, it's a weird position to be in. Um, I, I do agree it would be a tough, a tough one though. Uh, a lot of maintenance to probably keep up. So, I mean, there are other pools that you could probably do, but they don't earn incentive on some of the other platforms, you know, you're earning different tokens, which if you want to do it that way, you know, again, as long as it's two coins that you don't mind which one you have, like that's why I was really fond of the EHEX PHEX pair uh, because I, I didn't care at that point. Um, was hoping they would stay a little bit closer in price, but they didn't, they pulled away. Um, and that's whenever the pool was also removed. So. You know, a, another reason why I'd like to see some of that Ethereum used to get them even and then have that pool come back. That would be a, a nice add on, I think. Yeah, there's been, there's a lot of options here and it's really up to whatever you want to do. But I, yeah, what you said is totally right, Ewok. Like if, if you want, again, not to set it and forget it because you do want to make sure that ratio is still tight. But the pulse and pulse X ratio has been at that. 2.5 to 1 to 3 to 1 very, very reliably for most of the ecosystem's existence. And, you know, PulseX has gotten even stronger against it, actually, which kind of gives you even more confidence in it. But, you know, if you, like me, for example, like if you have an amount that you're providing and you make sure that you stick it to that ratio that it's at right now, say that you do, I'm just making up numbers, but say you... Uh, like a hundred thousand pulse, for example, you know, and then it would be for um, to match up with that. It would be like two hundred and fifty thousand pulse X or something based on the current ratios. So while you're watching your LPing, say you have your portfolio on Go Pulse or something like that, it'll show your farm right up there at the top, and you can see like if you started with a hundred thousand pulse you can see the fluctuations like pulse has lost a little bit on pulse X over the last couple of days. So it might go down to 94,000 and then um, what 270,000 pulse X or something. And you, you might, you might panic and think like, Oh man, I lost like a couple hundred bucks in pulse. If you just calculate all the, the pulse X that you've gained in that time though, it usually is a wash because the yeah. ratio is staying the same. So <clears throat> the numbers are still the same. Plus you're earning all that ink. So, you know, depending on how much your liquidity providing, you could be getting, it, it's insane how quick ink um, does stack up and, you know, with it being five, six bucks right now, even juicier. So now we've right. got the, the Fox protocol up. So if you want to check yep. that out. So let's, you know, we take a look at this one and, and these are a little more interesting because you're not just double, double pairs, right? Um, mm -hmm. Again, if you're not familiar with, I, I, I'm not recommending people just go do this if you don't know what you're doing. So please be very careful um uh, but there are some even safer options over here uh because you can pair uh wrapped usdc with coast for example right stable mm -hmm. coins that are both worth a dollar they get traded in and out of all the time when people go back and forth and do different things because of um the aggregators and how things are routed so something like this uh would be 
a, a great way to just make fees. Now it's a little bit lower. Um, and you know, there's another bridged stable. So you're doing uh wrapped USD tether, USTC, and wrapped die all together as well. So there are some of these that are are stables. Um, there's another one down here that's a USDL. Uh, so you've got your liquid loans token or along with USDT, uh, USDC and, and wrap die. So those are a little safer. If you're going to play around with these things, I would recommend doing that. Um, mm -hmm. first, just to kind of see how it plays out, you may end up with a little bit more of one than the other, but again, they're all worth a dollar. So, um, Unless the peg goes away, miss, you know, magically, then you would be kind of off sides. But but there are also some other cool ones too. Like if you have a, um, there's a, the Maximus one where you have, you know, your P hex, Maxi, Desi, Lucky, Base, and Trio. So all of the perpetuals are, they all have a pool. So when things trade in and out of there, um, it, it's neat to just see that. And, and some of these fees that you earn, you know, they can get up there pretty good. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the volume, the volume here on on these pools was $757 million of, of volume here uh, with a total value locked or total volume locked of 32 million. So, you know, there's, there's, there's quite a bit of action that's getting funneled through these two for some, for some nice fees. Just again, be very, very careful um, I, I don't recommend it unless you know what you're doing um, or even play with it on the test net first a little bit before you before you go over here and degen. But um, these are also a great way to to make a little bit of APR. Um, and, you know, again, with some of these stable coins, it's a lot less risk. Yeah, definitely a good protocol on Fox to check out too um, for what you may be interested in. But yeah, you, you must understand it first, like Ewok said. I mean, I wouldn't just hop into anything. Just make sure the math makes sense. You know, just like the ones we were looking at on PulseX. I mean, like, yeah, you see that APR for, you know, Pulse uh, USDC or a stable coin or something like that. But again, you have that impermanent loss. You might, I mean, maybe you could make gains from that. I'm sure you could for certain time frames, but you need to be actively managing it. And um, of course, you can pull it at any time. I mean, of course, like at any point, you can just pull the liquidity. But, um, you know, we're not really people who want to be monitoring it that closely. So um, shout out, KD. Appreciate it, man. Um, one other thing I wanted to read. So Richard just tweeted this yesterday. Yet again, he's been talking about Inc. a whole bunch. Um, he said, things people don't understand about Inc. You nearly always have to buy Pulse or Pulse X to get it because that's the pairs people put their liquidity in. Look at the auto router pick to see a path, or you can farm it. The majority of the liquidity is also farming ink. Uh, the higher the ink price, the higher the rewards to farmers. Notice that every farming pair has wrapped pulse except one. You see hex and pulse x on that list of farms as well. I don't link ink more uh, than pulse, pulse x, or hex, but it's gone up the hardest, and the chart is the chart. There's a chance it might bring a different type of spectator. Uh, yeah, speculator into the ecosystem. Who knows? So that that's just when he tweets stuff like that, it's like something he's observing things, but also I think there's something going on too. I think yeah. there's something else up the sleeve. So do you, do you have any takeaways from that? N not really. I, I, again, he's, he, he loves the X's. He loves the green candles. He's just pointing it out to people um, yeah. and how it is good for the the rest of the ecosystem.